And the big story we're following at 5 o'clock, frustrated and fed up. Those living in one of Baltimore's most violent neighborhoods sound off now as the police commissioner gets ready to defend his budget. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. And Baltimore, as you know, has seen a surge in shootings and homicides with more than 400 people shot in the city since the beginning of the year. A staggering amount of violence. The commissioner's appearance before the city council tonight follows the city state's attorney defending her record last night. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live downtown for us tonight with much more community reaction as Baltimore tries to do whatever it takes to get this violence under control. Mike. Rick, Denise, we talked to several people who feel trapped in their homes by the daylight shootings and daily killings. The police commissioner unveiled his latest crime plan late last week. Tonight, he's expected to face pointed questions from city council members. Their number one issue, crime. I try to keep, uh, try to keep that close to me. David shows us the knife he keeps with him because he fears for his life just walking down the street in Carrollton Ridge, the troubled neighborhood in southwest Baltimore where police have responded to three murders in less than a week. This morning I heard at least five shots. This morning, that was about quarter to seven. And I could not believe it. I said, it's getting real hectic down around here. The gunfire he heard was in the 1900 block of Ramsey Street, where police found a man dead, shot multiple times. It's the 4th of July every day. Only thing I heard was bang, 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 bang. Annette has lived in Carrollton Ridge for more than 50 years and has never seen it this violent. That's what woke me up. You heard the gunshots? Yep. They're shooting every day, 24 hours. Killing, killing, killing. How frustrated are you right now? About 10. Telling you. But ain't they ain't doing nothing about it. Though Brandon Scott is talking. He ain't doing nothing. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Do something about it. You know what I'm saying? What about the commissioner? He need to do something about it, too. It comes as the city council is getting ready to grill the police commissioner tonight over his budget. In a recent one-on-one -on -one interview, he told WJZ many criminals do not fear getting caught. And that's why you see such brazen acts of violence in daylight shooting indiscriminately into crowds, trying to hit one person, hitting multiple people. That's a lie. Last night, city prosecutor Marilyn Mosby defended accusations her office was dangerously understaffed. Pay my attorneys what they deserved. The bickering and politics matter little to those in Carrollton Ridge who are too scared to leave their homes after dark and feel city leaders have forgotten them. I've been in the house, you know what I'm saying? Too scared to be go to school and all of that. And many of the homicides go unsolved. The clearance rate so far this year is around 42%. That's above 2019's clearance rate, which was just a little more than 30%, but it's still not great. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ.